Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. In my previous class, I have talked about some of the important multiple choice questions from the economics general paper for TYBA that too from the first and second chapter. In segue of the same, in today's class, I'll talk about some of the important multiple choice questions with respect to chapter 3 that too from the vicious circles of poverty part. So let's get started. The first question is the circular relationship is known as dash that perpetuates low levels of development in underdeveloped countries or least developed countries. So what do you call that circular relationship whether you call it option A circle, uh, vicious circles of investment, option B vicious circles of poverty, option C vicious circles of savings and D none of the above. So you call that circular relationship to be vicious circles of poverty that perpetuates low levels of development in underdeveloped economies or least developed countries and therefore option B vicious circles of poverty is the correct answer to this particular question. Let us now move to the next one. The next is dash implies the circular constellation of forces tending to act and react upon one another in such a way as to keep a country in the state of poverty. I am saying what implies circular constellation of forces that tend to act and react upon each other in such a fashion that it tries to keep a country as in the state of poverty. Let us look at the underlying options. The option uh, is a vicious circle of consumption. The second option is vicious circles of investment. The third is vicious circles of poverty and D none of the above. So here the correct answer is vicious circles of poverty implies circular constellation of forces that act and react upon one another in such a way or such a, fa a fashion that it tries to keep a country in the state of poverty and therefore option C vicious circles of poverty is the correct answer to this particular question. Let us now move to the next one. The basic vicious circle stems from the fact that in a underdeveloped or least developed country there is there is dash or there are dash okay so let us look at uh, from where the basic vicious circles are stemming out whether it is due to deficiency of capital whether it is due to market imperfections whether it is due to economic backwardness or all of the above so here the basic vicious circles are stemming out from all these three things that means deficiency of capital market imperfections as well as economic backwardness and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question. I hope the question is clear. Let us now move to the next one. The vicious circles of poverty operates on dash sides, operates on A demand and supply side, option B investment and saving side, option C consumption and investment sides and D none of the above. So here the correct answer is the vicious circles of poverty are operate on both demand as well as supply sides and hence option A is the correct answer to this particular question. Let us now move to the next one which is specifically talking about the demand side of the vicious circle and the question is framed in this fashion. The demand side of vicious circle is that low levels of real income leads to dash. Low levels of real income leads to dash. A. Low levels of demand. B. Low levels of investment. C deficiency of capital and D all of the above. So here in order to understand what will happen if at all there is low levels of real income. So what will happen is real income is low and as a result there will be low demand because of this there will be low investment because of this there will be capital deficiency and in this fashion the entire circle will be completed. Okay, So in this fashion you can see that the demand side of the vicious circle is that low levels of real income leads to this entire circular flow and as a result all these three things are included in our options and therefore all of the above is the correct answer. If it asks real income explicitly leads to what that means it explicitly that means real income directly re leads to low demand per se. So low levels of demand would be the correct answer but here I am not asking explicitly leads to what but implicitly it leads to all these three things and therefore option D all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question. I hope this is clear. Now this was the first side of vicious circles that means the demand side. Let us now look at another question which is talking about the supply side of vicious circle and the question is the supply side of vicious circle is that 
low levels of real income leads to what so low levels of real income here instead of demand it will be low levels of savings as a result of this there will be low levels of investment as a result of this capital deficiency and in this fashion the circular flow will be completed on the supply side and as a result you have all of the above as the correct answer here again i'm not asking you explicitly leads to what real income explicitly will lead to low levels of savings but implicitly it will lead to all these three things that means here i'm asking you implicitly there's no mention of anything of that sort and as a result you have all of the above as the correct answer to this particular question i hope the question is clear both the demand as well as supply sides of vicious circles of poverty let us now move to the third one which is in a sense talking about the third vicious circle and the next question is talking about the third vicious circle now we have seen the demand side and the supply side of vicious circle but there is third vicious circle which exists and the question is framed in that fashion a third vicious circle of poverty envelops underdeveloped dash and dash resources it 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 envelops underdeveloped dash and dash resources the third vicious circle whether it is human and money resources human and natural resources human and financial resources and none of the above so here the third vicious circle of poverty envelops underdeveloped human and natural resources and therefore option b is the correct answer to this particular question so now there's third circle which operates which is uh, in relation to human and natural resources okay so i hope the three circles are pretty much clear let us now move to the next question the next question is according to the third vicious circle underdeveloped natural resources are both a consequence and cause of what underdeveloped natural resources are both a cause as well as consequence of what first is development second is backwardness c is people and d none of the above so here according to the third vicious circle underdeveloped natural resources are both a consequence as well as cause of backwardness okay so this is the correct answer option b is the correct answer to this question i hope the question is clear let us now move to the next question again uh, in relation to the third vicious circle the third vicious circle of poverty underlines that development of natural resources is dependent upon what the third vicious circle underlines that the development of natural resource is dependent upon what and the underlying options are a literacy of the population technological skills or literacy entrepreneurial approach and the all of the above so here again all these three things are in a sense making sure that there should be development of natural resources and in in this sense option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question that means the third vicious circle of poverty underlines that development of natural resource depends upon all these three things that is entrepreneurial approach technological literacy as well as the literacy of population per se so therefore all of the above is the correct answer let us now move to the next question which is the last question in this segment which is according to dash a country is poor because it is poor whether it is according to ragnar nux whether it is according to adam smith whether it is according to karl marx or whether it is according to md morris so these are the four options a country is poor because it is poor was the statement made by ragnar nux and therefore option a ragnar nux is the correct answer to this particular question i hope the questions are pretty much clear with respect to the vicious circles of poverty which is the first concept in chapter 3 in the next class i'll talk about some of the more important mcqs from the same chapter so please stay tuned for more thank you